City. On trial for corruption in government, Short was charged with violating the public trust by selling a deputy's badge. Action News reporter John Crane is live at the Pasco County Courthouse. And John, we heard the verdict. I imagine Mr. Short is elated. Uh, you could also hear the applause inside. And you can hear cheering of Short supporters coming out of the courtroom right now. Some of the defense attorneys. Here's the prosecutor, Richard Mensch. Let's try to get a comment from him. And you heard the verdict, and I don't think I could add anything more to it. Does this mean you'll not prosecute Mr. Mormon on the counts that were dismissed? No, sir, it does not. You will refile. It, uh, well, that's a matter that we'll discuss, but uh, at this point, there's no reason not to believe that we'll go forward. Mr. Mensch, uh, the defense at times has claimed that this was a politically motivated uh, case. How do you react now that the state has lost the case? Hogwash. Thank you very much. Richard Mensch, the Richard Mensch, prosecutor for Pinellas Pasco Counties, who was the lead prosecutor in this case against the former Pasco County Sheriff, John Short. Right now we're waiting for Mr. Short to come out of the courtroom. As you could hear the applause, everyone here is ecstatic who is a supporter of Mr. Short. It has been a long ordeal, nine days of trial, more than a week of testimony. It's been very difficult for jurors, actually the alternate juror who was dismissed when the jury went in to start deliberating said he couldn't make a decision. He didn't know at that time whether he could render a, a verdict of guilty or not guilty. They uh, obviously had a very difficult job and rendered that verdict in less than two hours. Now John and Cheryl, as I said, we're waiting for John Short to come out. We'll get back to you when he does. Okay, John, thank you very much. John?